here's all the new Piggy linkable events made simple and easy. To link these events, click on the link icon, connect it to an event, and then hit confirm. This also goes for lights too. If there's nothing connected to your lights, they will stay permanently turned on. The first events are the lever and the door. The door will open when powered by something and will let players in. The lever can power events to make them activate. Levers can be set up to only be flipped once, already be activated, and can be usable by infected. Buttons are different. Unlike levers, they can power things on for a limited time. You can set these buttons to power something for however long you want before their time runs out. And of course, can be usable by infected. This little thing is called a timer. To connect a timer to your event, you'll need to connect either a switch or a button to the timer, and then connect the timer to whatever event you want it to function with. You can set how long you want the timer to run for and have the option to reset the timer if the device is unpowered. This is called a not gate. It's simple. It'll do the opposite of whatever it is told to do. For example, if I go to flip this lever, it will close a door instead of opening it. This lever you see here is actually flipped off, but thanks to the not gate, it is actually turning the door on. This is an or gate. If anything connected to it is powered, it will power on the event. So if you had a hundred levers, all connected to an OR gate. If one of them is turned on, the door will open. If you have a bunch of things that all turn on the same thing, this will be useful for that. This is an AND gate. It will only turn something on if everything connected to it is powered. For example, if you wanted to create an exit door that only opened if players discovered all five switches in the map, you can. This is the dialog block. It'll play the dialogue of any character you set it to be when the player touches this invisible block. These blocks can be toggled with linked events too, so you can power them on to enable or disable them. Alongside toggling the block itself to enable or disable repeating dialogue, or if this dialogue plays for everybody in the map if one player triggers it. This is an exclusive OR gate. It will turn something on if only one lever connected to it is flipped on. However, if two or more levers are turning it on, it will unpower your event. These are laser grids. They can be toggled to be turned on and off and will kill any player that touches them. The lasers will keep going until a certain limited range or if they hit a wall. This block is called a touch trigger. It is an invisible block that powers on anything when touched. You can set it to be one time use alongside being usable by infected players both or neither. This is a trap door. It works like a power door, but when turned on, it opens a hole in the ground or ceiling. This is a generator. It will permanently power on anything you connect it to. This is a digital display. You can use it to show players how much time is left before something opens, activates, or turns off. This is a powered block. They're scalable blocks that can be turned on and off. The same goes for powered invisible blocks too, as seen here. You can even have powered sound blocks. Listen to this. Finally, there's the link hub. It can be used to connect a bunch of stuff to multiple things at a time. Want more quick and quality Roblox content? Subscribe.